Chakras are various focal points used in a variety of ancient meditation practices, collectively denominated as Tantra or the esoteric or inner traditions of Hinduism. The concept of the chakra rose in the early traditions of Hinduism. Beliefs differ between the Indian religions, with many Buddhist texts consistently mentioning five chakras, while Hindu sources reference six or seven. Early Sanskrit texts speak of them both as meditative visualizations combining flowers and mantras and as physical entities in the body. Within Kundalini Yoga, the techniques of breathing exercises, visualizations, mudras, bandhas, prayas, and mantras are focused on manipulating the flow of soul energy through chakras. The modern Western chakra system arose from multiple sources starting in the 1880s, followed by Sir John Woodroffe's 1919 book The Certain Power, and Charles W. Lee Beater's 1927 book The Chakras, which introduced the seven rainbow colors for the chakras, psychological and our attributes, and a wide range of supposed correspondences with other systems such as alchemy, astrology, gemstones, homeopathy, Kabbalah and Tara were added layer. Lexically, chakra is the Indic reflex of an ancestral Indo-European form whence also wheel and cycle it has both literal and metaphorical uses, as in a wheel of time or wheel of dharma, such as in Rigveda hymn verse 1.164. 11 pervasive in the earliest Vedic texts. In Buddhism, especially in the Ravada, the Pala now Kaka connotes wheel. Within the central Tripitaka, the Buddha variously refers the Dhammakaka, or wheel of Dharma, connoting that this Dharma, universal in its advocacy, should bear the marks characteristic of any temporal dispensation. The Buddha spoke of freedom from cycles in and of themselves, whether karmic, reincarnative, liberative, cognitive, or emotional. In Jainism, the term chakra also means wheel and appears in various contexts in its ancient literature. As in other Indian religions, chakra and esoteric theories in Jainism such as those by Buddhisagarshara means a yogic energy center. This is how the chakras are present and represented inside a man in Indian philosophy. A total of 112 chakras are present from head to toe and including the hands. Every chakra is associated with a particular deity. An illustration of a 7F chakra system, Boliota from the Naf Chariot, 1823. Mayranger Museum Trust. In meditation, chakras are often visualized in different ways, such as a lotus flower, or a disc containing a particular deity. One widely popular scheme of seven chakras is as follows, from bottom to top, one, Muladhara two, Svadhisthana three, Navi Manipur four, Anahata five, Vishuddhi six, Ajna seven, Sahasra. The colors are modern. A Tibetan panka with a diagram showing six chakras a root chakra, a chakra at the sex organs, one at the navel, one at the heart, another at the throat, and the last one located at the crown. A Tibetan illustration of the subtle body showing the central channel and the side channels as well as five chakras. This is the symbolic representation of the Muladhara chakra. This is the symbolic representation of the Svadashathana Chakra. This is the symbolic representation of the Mayatra Chakra.
This is the symbolic representation of the Anahata Chakra. This is the symbolic representation of the Visita Chakra. This is the symbolic representation of the Adya Chakra. This is the symbolic representation of the Sahasra Chakra. Chakra positions in supposed relation to nervous plexuses, from Charles W. Lee Beter's 1927 book The Chakras. The chakras are part of esoteric medieval Arab beliefs about physiology and psychic centers that emerge across Indian traditions. The belief held that human life simultaneously exists in parallel dimensions, one physical body theulis arara, and other psychological, emotional, mind, non-physical it is called the subtle body sakshta sarara. This subtle body is energy, while the physical body is mass. The psyche or mind plane corresponds to and interacts with the body plane, and the belief holds that the body and mind mutually affect each other. The subtle body consists of nadir connected by nodes of psychic energy called chakra. The belief grew into extensive elaboration, with some suggesting 88,000 chakras throughout the subtle body. The number of major chakras varied between various traditions, but they typically ranged between 4 and 7. Nine Mahapavadrana Buddhist teachings mention eight chakras, and there is a complete yogic system for each of them. The important chakras are stated in Hindu and Buddhist texts to be arranged in a column along the spinal cord, from its base to the top of the head, connected by vertical channels. The tantric tradition sought to master them, waken and energize them through various breathing exercises or with assistance of a teacher. These chakras were also symbolically mapped to specific human physiological capacity. Seed syllables Baija, sounds, subtle elements Tanmitra, in some cases deities, colors and other motifs. Belief in the chakra system of Hinduism and Buddhism differs from the historic Chinese system of meridians and acupuncture. Unlike the latter, the chakra relates to subtle body wherein it has a position but no definite nervous node or precise physical connection. The tantric systems envision it as continually present, highly relevant and a means to psychic and emotional energy. It is useful in a type of yogic rituals and meditative discovery of radiant inner energy prana flows and mind-body connections. The meditation is aided by extensive symbology, mantras, diagrams, Miles the Indian modeler. The practitioner proceeds step by step from perceptible models to increasingly abstract models where deity and external model are abandoned, inner self and internal mandalas are awakened. These ideas are not unique to Hindu and Buddhist traditions. Similar and overlapping concepts emerged in other cultures in the East and the West, and these are variously called by other names such as cell body, spirit body esoteric anatomy, sidereal body and etheric body. According to Jeffrey Samuel and Jade Johnston, professors of religious studies known for their studies on yoga and esoteric traditions, ideas and practices involving so-called subtle bodies have existed for many centuries in many parts of the world. Virtually all human cultures known to us have some kind of concept of mind, spirit or soul as distinct from the physical body if only to explain experiences such as sleep and dreaming. An important subset of subtle body practices, found particularly in Indian and Tibetan tantric traditions, and in similar Chinese practices, involves the idea of an internal self-physiology of the body or rather of the body-mind complex made up of channels through which substances of some kind flow, and points of intersection at which these channels come together. In the Indian tradition the channels are known as Nanai and the points of intersection as Kekra. Jeffrey Samuel and Jake Johnson, Religion in the South Body in Asia and the West, Between Mind and Body. Chakra and related beliefs have been important to the esoteric traditions, 
but they are not directly related to mainstream Yuba. According to the analogist Edwin Bryant and other scholars, the goals of classical Yuba such as spiritual liberation freedom, self-knowledge, moksha is attained entirely differently in classical Yuba, and the Kekarnaya Kundalini physiology is completely peripheral to it. The classical Eastern traditions, particularly those that developed in India during the One Street Mall in MAD, primarily describe Nadi and Chakra in a subtle body context. To them, they are insane dimension as of the Sahi mind reality that is invisible yet real. In the Nadi and Kekar flow the prana breath, life energy. The concept of life energy varies between the texts, ranging from simple inhalation exhalation to far more complex association with breath mind emotion sexual energy. This prana or essence is what vanishes when a person dies, leaving a gross body. Some of this concept states this subtle body is what withdraws within, when one sleeps. All of it is believed to be reachable, wakeable and important for an individual's body mind health, and how one relates to other people in one's life. This subtle body network of Nayi and Chakra is, according to some layer Indian theories and many New Age speculations, closely associated with motions. Esoteric traditions in Hinduism mention numerous numbers and arrangements of chakras, of which a classical system of six plus one, the last being the Sahasra, is most prevalent. This seven-part system, central to the cortexts of Hatha Yoga, is one among many systems found in Hindu Tantric literature. Hindu Tantra associates six yajnas with six places in the cell body corresponding to the six chakras of the six plus one system, to Svatashathanarekini, one Mulatiradikini, three Manapuralakini, four Anahatakakini, five Vishadashakini, six Ajnahakini. The chakra methodology is extensively developed in the goddess tradition of Hinduism called Shaktism. It is an important concept along with yantras, mandalas and kundalini yoga in its practice, Chakra in Shakta Tantras means circle, an energy center within, as well as being a term for group rituals such as in Chakra Puja worship within a circle which may or may not involve Tantra practice. The Kekra based system is part of the meditative exercises that came to be known as Yoga. The esoteric traditions in Buddhism generally teach for chakras. In some early Buddhist sources, these chakras are identical. The system of five chakras is common among the mother class of tantras and these five chakras along with their correspondences are Basal Chakra Element, Earth, Buddha, Amoka Siddhi, Baija Mantra, L.I.M. Abdominal Chakra Element, Water, Buddha, Ranasamava, Baija Mantra, B.A.M. Heart Chakra Element, Fire, Buddha, Akshabhya, Baija Mantra, R.A.M. Throat Chakra Element, Wind, Buddha, Amitabha, Ida Mantra, Y.A.M. Crown Chakra Element, Space, Buddha, Vairakana, Ida Mantra, K.H.A.M. Chakras clearly play a key role in Tibetan Buddhism and are considered to be the pivotal province of Tantric thinking. And, precise use of the chakras across the gamut of tantric satanas gives little space to doubt the primary efficacy of Tibetan Buddhism as distinct religious agency, that being that precise revelation that, without tantra there would be no chakras, but more importantly, without chakras, there is no Tibetan Buddhism. The highest practices in Tibetan Buddhism point to the ability to bring the cell prayas of an entity into alignment with the central channel and to thus penetrate the realization of the ultimate unity, namely, the organic harmony of one's individual consciousness of wisdom with the co-attainment of all embracing love, thus synthesizing brick cognition of absolute brotherhood. According to Samuel, the Buddhist esoteric systems developed Kekra and Nadi as central to their soteriological process. The theories were sometimes, but not always, coupled with a unique system of physical exercises, called the Entra Yoga or Full Core. Chakras, according to the Bon tradition, enable the gestalt of experience, with each of the five major chakras, 
being psychologically linked with the five experiential qualities of unenlightened consciousness, the six realms of woe. The Tsilun practice embodied in the troll core lineage, unbaffles the primary channels, thus activating and circulating liberating prana. Yoga awakens the deep mind, thus bringing forth positive attributes, inherent gestalts, and virtuous qualities. In a computer analogy, the screen for one's consciousness is slated and an attribute-bearing file is called up that contains necessary positive or negative, supportive qualities. Antric practice is said to eventually transform all experience into clear light. The practice aims to liberate from all negative conditioning and the deep cognitive salvation of freedom from control and unity of perception and cognition. The more common and most studied chakra system incorporates six major chakras along with a seventh center generally not regarded as a chakra. These points are arranged vertically along the axial channel Sushananada in Hindu texts, a Vibhuti in some Buddhist texts. According to Gavi Flood, the system of six chakras plus the Sahasrara center at the crown first appears in the Kajkama Tantra, an 11th century Kala work. It was this chakra system that was translated in the early 20th century by Sir John Woodroffe, also called Arthur Avalon in the text The Serpent Power. Avalon translated the Hindu text at Kakra Nirupana meaning the examination Nirupana of the seven sat chakras Kakra. The chakras are traditionally considered meditation aids. The yogi progresses from lower chakras to the highest chakra blossom and in the crown of the head internalizing the journey of spiritual ascent. In both the Hindu Kundalini and Buddhist Kandala traditions, the chakras are pierced by a dormant energy residing near or in the lowest chakra. In Hindu text she is known as Kundalini, while in Buddhist text she is called Kandala or Chung Tibetan, Ktamo, Fierce One. Below are the common New Age description of these six chakras and the seventh point known as Sahasra. This New Age version incorporates the Newton in colors of the rainbow not found in any ancient Indian system. Kurt Leland, for the Theosophical Society in America, concluded that the Western Chakra system was produced by an unintentional collaboration of many groups of people, esotericists and clairvoyants, often theosophical, indologists, the scholar of myth, Joseph Campbell, the founders of the Isolin Institute and the psychological tradition of Carl Jung, the color system of Charles W. Lee Beter's 1927 book The Chakras, treated as traditional lore by some modern Indian yogis and energy healers such as Barbara Brennan. Leland states that far from being traditional, the two main elements of the modern system, the rainbow colors and a list of qualities, first appeared together only in 1977. The concept of a set of seven chakras came to the West in the 1880s. At that time each chakra was associated with a nerve plexus. In 1918, Sir John Woodroff, alias Arthur Avalon, translated two Indian texts, the Set Kekra Nirupina and the Pajapa Panthika, and in his book The Serpent Power drew Western attention to the seven chakra theory. In the 1920s, each of the seven chakras was associated with an endocrine gland, a tradition that has persisted. More recently, the lower six chakras have been linked to both nerve plexuses and glands. The seven rainbow colors were added by Lee Beer in 1927. Various system in the 1930s both six colors plus white. Lear's theory was influenced by Johann de Org Bischel's 1696 book as a the Bapka, the mentioned Air Force sitters. Psychological and other attributes such as layers of the aura, developmental sayas, associated diseases, or stile ailments, emotions, and state of consciousness were added still later. A wide range of support correspondence is such as golf and bull bells. Astrological signs of bandits, foods, herbs, gestones, homeopathic rays, abletus spears, usable notes, poem animals, and pair cards have also been proposed.